part two with Monica Tadros, the ENT doctor, and me, Olivia. So, how does cross contamination work again? Okay, Olivia, I know we went over this a little bit earlier, the concept of getting things on your hands um, and how that contaminates and spreads things like coronavirus. So only because this is so important, I agree to do a glitter experiment because you know how much I love cleaning up glitter, um, but this is probably important, so we're gonna do it. Um, we've set up a little bit of red glitter in this straw, and we're gonna walk over here where there's a white plate, and I'm gonna ask Olivia to demonstrate me sneezing, and then we'll show you the rest. All right, Olivia. <coughs> Great, so that's what happens to respiratory droplets when you sneeze. But I want you to take into account a couple of things that just happened. Those droplets are heavy, and they didn't just float around in the air. So the concept is if you cover your sneeze, or your cough, or whatever these respiratory droplets are, they're just, they're not gonna float around in the air and go run after the next person. So that's an important thing to, to recognize. They're really just going to drop to the surface. And so more than us worrying about wearing masks and just talking to each other um, and breathing on each other, really we have to be more conscious about what we're touching with our hands. Okay? And cross-contamination means that you just sneezed out some particles, and let's say they were infected. Then I come and say, oh, you know, I want to touch something. Then what happens to my hands? I have these virus particles, and these are sticky. So in the air, they're not floating. They're falling. On my hands, they're sticky. And so I go about my business. I might touch my nose. I might touch my face. I might touch my mouth. And then what happens? I get the virus all over me. That's how it gets there. And that's a really important concept that we have to think about for cross-contamination. Now, what could we have done differently? Could have washed your hands. So, if I hadn't already touched my face, and I washed my hands before I touched my face, that really, nasty coronavirus particle, it can't infect me, but through my hands. It can only infect me through my nose, my eyes, and my mouth. And so what's happening? And we're breaking up that virus particle and we're just washing it away. And remember, 20 seconds is a really long time. You might have to sing happy birthday twice, or you might have to say your ABCs twice, or not for 20 seconds or you might want to say a prayer or two um, and coronavirus, um, then we see that our hands aren't contaminated anymore. I say if I'm like, oh, I have to put this away, I touch it and then say, well, I have an itchy nose and then it gets all over me. So if I wash my hands, of course, we would take any soap, scrub it a little bit and get some water Scrub for 20 seconds, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And you do 20 seconds here. How many times am I in my head? But I'm gonna be explaining at the same time. Even though you see that there's no more soap on my, your hands, that still doesn't mean you're completely washed your hands properly. You at least have to do it for 20 seconds each. It's very important. Bye.